So did you know that there's a hidden feature on the VA using an API where you can actually look at everything that you have as a disability and see which one is static? So today in this video, I'm gonna show you something that most people have probably never seen and one of the only ways to see if you're 100% versus 100% P&T, if you don't actually have your letter in front of you and you wanna see what individual ratings are, if they're static or not, is to get a C file from the VA. But now there is actually a better way to do this that you can do at home on your own. I'm going to do a walkthrough today on exactly what to do to see which ratings are static in case you want to make a claim or make sure that something is going to get you to 100% PNT. Now, before I move on to this video, if you don't know what static versus non-static claims are through the disability, I just made another video. I'm going to put it up here. Make sure to watch that first so you know what I'm talking about because today we're just going to jump through the walkthrough so you can learn something new and try this at home. So the VA API system lets websites talk to each other and communicate on the back end, whereas us as the users on the front end might not see this. So there's a way to copy and paste an API website into your browser at home and see what might be happening with your claim and some of the changes that you might not ever see. Okay, so let's jump into it. The first thing that you'll need to do is log into the VA. And right now I am currently logged in so you can see my rating. Hopefully I'm not gonna accidentally show something on here. I'll have to blur some stuff out, but go into Google Chrome, open up a browser and start by logging into the VA and make sure you are logged in first. Okay, so right now we're gonna be looking at disability. So what you are going to do is log into the VA, open up a new tab. You're not gonna open up a new browser. You're just opening up a new tab and you're going to copy and paste this address bar. I'm gonna put it right here, but the instructions instructions are going to be down below in the description and we're going to be looking at rated disabilities. Okay, so when you hit enter on this website, you'll see a JSON file with all of your disability ratings. And if you're on a browser and this looks crazy confusing, if you see it on my screen right now, it's all my ratings, all this information, but it's not a very viewable way to look at it. So what you're gonna do is hit the pretty print button at the top. I'm gonna circle it. We're gonna click that right there. Okay, so once you actually have this open, you're gonna be looking for the following keys based on your disability. So what this does is break down by category, all of the disabilities, all of the claims I've made, whether they are service connected or not. And at the bottom of each one, which ones are gonna be static. So a few things that you'll look for that you'll see is the diagnostic code, which was the VA assigned code the rating percentage, which is your current disability rating percentage. It's just gonna show a number, so I'm gonna have the percent sign. And at the bottom of each category, each block of these is gonna say static. This is the key indicator that we are looking for today. And this is gonna be true if your condition is static, meaning the VA considers you permanent. So if your static condition is true, that means that the condition is going to be locked in and likely won't require a future if exam. If it's false, the VA may review this again later. That's just something to know. So for me, if I go through this, I had claimed sleep apnea syndrome, which I did not have service connected, and it is false. It is not service connected. I don't have a rating, and it is false. But if you scroll down a little bit, let's go to, okay, but let's go down a little bit into GERD, which I have a rating for. It gives me a 10% rating right here. And then it also says it is static, IND, and it is coming up as true. So all of my service connected ratings that you see here are true. They are going to be static conditions. Okay, so we've looked at ratings, but there's a couple other categories that you can actually use these APIs for. There's all claims, there's specific claim details, which you can replace your claim ID at the back end of the URL and actually get more specifications for each claim. There's appeal statuses, if you have appeals going on, there's your VA profile information, and there's maintenance windows. So when the VA website is down, you're actually able to still check on what might be going on. So if you're actually waiting for a claim decision, check the max estimated claim date on this one as well, and the minimum claim date under specific claims to get an estimate of when the VA will finish being processed. So let's just try another one of these just for good, good measure. So I'm typing the benefits claim API, and we're gonna click this again, and it's going through to, to go through each claim that I have completed, each phase and the dates. So I think this is really useful if you wanna learn more about where your claim might be in the process or where you might be if you're trying to get permanent total versus 100% or just looking at any of the individual items that you have. Okay, so if you wanna try this yourself, go ahead and click and follow the instructions down below that I have in the description and try this. Keep in mind that some of these API actually addresses might change. So in the future, I'm gonna to try to update this video, at least the current one, or make a new one if these APIs have actually changed themselves. But I found this extremely helpful instead of waiting for like three months plus for a C file from the VA to actually look at your overall ratings for everything that you're claiming and instead just do this and you can actually see what is static. I hope this helps. Hope you've learned something today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more and I'll see you guys next time.